<laughs> Boss time. All right, let's see. Blood flame. Flame greet me strength. Put that away. So we're two. You know what I'm gonna try? Game deliver is the most likely their players. It's not that they hate them, it's just that Miyazaki thinks that things could do it faster. I'll just do it the old fashioned way. This is made by, um, is it Hidetaka? It's made by FromSoft. It's a Bandai Namco game. But let's not, let's not make gross generalizations based on someone's race. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. But yeah, I'm gonna try and do some parrying instead. I'm, I'm like struggling between the urge to parry him and then struggling between the urge to just keep doing what I was doing before with uh, the down smashes and trying to circle that square is uh, a thing that's happening in my brain. Imagine if I had a death counter. I don't really care though. Like I'm not one of those people that like has to be all, all right, I beat that game in 12 attempts. I one-shot the final boss and didn't take any damage. I parried way too soon. Because there's always that person who's like, you're like, oh yeah, I had, uh, I didn't really have much trouble with this boss. And they're like, ah, oh, well, I beat them in two attempts with no hit, and I didn't heal with zero vigor. And it's like, okay, cool guy, I'm sorry that your dick is small. that still hit me. I don't like pissing contests, if that's what, if that makes sense. And unfortunately, in the gamer scene, um, there's a lot of people who will make the journey is the important part, especially with streaming. Yeah, my fuck-ups are just as important as my successes. I love how everybody's... I mean, I like that everybody's playing this game. It makes it a bitch to stream it, because it's a very flooded market, but I'm still having fun. in there. for Halo and it was a bad idea for the game. It's not that, it's just that like, I'm gonna have a lot of deaths.
But no, it's it's mostly it was a hassle, yeah. Honestly, the biggest thing to me is that I don't really generally like pissing contests. And um I find a lot of the time you end up with, like I said, someone will someone will come in and they'll be like, Oh yeah, I beat I beat that boss in three tries, or you know, the guys who's like you know, I I one-shot everything and didn't even use a single heal and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, dude, nobody, nobody cares. You know? Like, congratulations, you're, you're good at video games. I'm too old to be good at video games anymore. You know? Hit him, thank you. Remember when you played Evil West, you had made, up a, made it to a boss, you just couldn't be beat, and you're getting a more... Hold on, I gotta, I gotta focus. Dude! That's the thing. When I played Dark Souls 3 the very first time, the very first time I played Dark Souls 3, when it first came out, I had played, it was the second Souls game that I had ever played. I played like some of Dark Souls 1, and I was like, oh man, I wanna beat all these games before Dark Souls 3 comes out. It'll be really fun. That'll be really cool for me. And so I played Dark Souls 1, and then Dark Souls 3 came out way before I finished it. So I was like, well, shit, I'm just going to jump straight into Dark Souls 3 then. Rude. Can I hitbox, please? Good night, Astral. Summons to new mechanics some people don't. But no, 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 let me let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. So I skipped from like the third boss in Dark Souls to playing Dark Souls three, which is a much faster paced game than the first Dark Souls. Dark Souls one is a very plodding, clunky sort of, you know, you're you're a knight in armor and you walk really slow and you're clanky and yada yada yada. So it was a, a bit of a shell shock in terms of gamer mentality. And so I'm playing this game, and I'm having a lot of fun, and I ended up beating the Abyss Watchers on the first try. So I beat the Abyss Watchers on the first try, right? I played through the game much later, um, like after the DLC came out, a couple of months later maybe. I was like, I should replay all of Dark Souls, and we did all of them. We did Dark Souls 1, we did Dark Souls 2, we did Dark Souls whatever. We did all the DLCs for all of the titles. Hold on a second. Fuck. I got to the Abyss Watchers. And I had remembered I one-shot these guys. It wasn't that hard. I beat them. The amount of time that it took me to beat Abyss Watchers the second time was astronomical because those things didn't go the same. The RNG was a little bit different, the way that they summoned each other, because if you remember, Abyss Watchers is a uh, mob grind fight. There's three different pieces, and they will continually resurrect each other and, and fight with each other until you kill the one that has the red eyes. And so there were just different details about it, and it took me a lot of effort to finish. And similarly, like with Pontiff Sullivan, Pontiff Sullivan gave me so much trouble the first time. I actually had to beat it off stream because it was just going on like eight hours of me fighting the same boss. And the content was not very interesting. So I ended up stopping and doing it off stream. And there's a hilarious like two minute video where my microphone broke. And you just hear me sounding like a fucking chipmunk going, I beat him, I beat him, ah, finally. And you can't understand it because my microphone had just completely fucked up. Um, 
Oh shit, got the command grab. But then when I played the second time, Pond of Sullivan wasn't that bad. Like, you know, he was still rough, but he was a much easier fight. And so every single time you play the game, there's going to be different, you know, shenanigans that happen with it. And inevitably, whenever someone is like, oh, I beat him really fast, someone will come in and they'll be like, oh, well, I did it in a slightly tougher way because they want to prove how much cooler they are than you for whatever reason. And so I don't do things like death counters because I don't want to be like, oh yeah, I beat the game with only 712 deaths. Because someone will inevitably come in and be like, I did it with only seven deaths and they were all scripted. Because that's just how gamers do. Okay, that'll do. Feel strong, man? Indeed. So, you know. It's just not where I like to be mentally. I don't think it's very helpful to have a death counter. Very good, very good, very good. Have that underground mode. First time was easy, second time marathon. Yeah. And it can be because of any number of factors. Damn. Really changed into ego wise in the player base? Yeah. And I mean, it's not something that's like, oh, well, this is how it used to be, because it happened literally the other day, where everybody wants to be like, oh, yeah, I'm super badass. And I'm like, dude, I don't, you know, I don't care. So anyway, I, I think that it would be fun if the game had a built-in death counter, and like when the credits roll, it told you how many deaths you had. Because I know some games do that, but this one doesn't. I think that would be cool, but doing it on stream, not so much. I think that if I had, like, say, an Elgato pedal, and I could just tap my foot into it every time I got a death, it might be easier. But having someone, like one of the mods, have to constantly be spamming it, especially because sometimes you go in and you get, like, multiple deaths in a few seconds. Shit. People weren't as egotistical. Alright, buddy. There you go. DS2 has a global death counter, which I think is neat. Yeah. But, um... So, so one of the things with Dark Souls, specifically, is there's, like, this tier of skill where you go into a boss fight, and sometimes you get really lucky and you one-shot them, but most of the time you're like, okay, how does this attack work? Okay, I now know how this attack works. I can kind of dodge it. I know how to dodge this. How does this work? And you, you learn new attack patterns and, and whatever, you know, as... Where are my souls? They're on the other side... Fuck off. Sorry, they're called runes, not souls, Hanedu. Anyway, um, and then you're like, I've got this. You get the boss down to like 10% health and you're doing really well. And then you zone in on the next one and you die in like two hits because they did a different attack, or, you know, something. What 
where shit like that happens, or it goes through a wall. Um, yeah. But see, that's the thing, is, like, every time someone says, oh, I'm having a really hard time on this boss, but you had such an easy time on it, I'm like, okay, but I spent eight hours on Pontiff Sullivan and didn't win, and you beat him in seven tries. Maybe we're just different. Maybe a different boss went differently for us. And so I think that's a much better way to, to handle it than the inevitable dick measuring contest that some people have. Okay, I'll just not roll when I know that I need to roll a video game. There we go. That was the ticket. Hours perfecting their attack and claws just to feel good and brag about it. Maybe. But... There's also things like, um... We fought a boss called the Ancient Man- Ancient Dragon Man. Oh. The first time I walked in and he basically one-shot me, he does like a jump attack and slams down and hits you and it just obliterated my face. And the second time, we actually clipped this. <laughs> the second time I walked in, I knew he was going to do that first down smash attack. So I rolled through it, backstabbed him because he was locked in the animation and couldn't move. I got a backstab on him and then immediately started doing my wild strikes, this attack. And that stun locked him and got him stuck in the corner. It was hilarious. I don't know if I could do it a second time. I got really lucky and everything just worked perfectly. Dude, can you not just spam that one attack? You're like a younger brother just spamming a low kick. Nobody likes it when the younger brother just spams low kick, my guy. Okay, gotta get stamina. How are you supposed to dodge that attack? Well, if he doesn't spam it, it's not super bad. It's just when he fucking spams it that it's a pain. But I'm a, a very strong propri- uh... Let's sort of make it for here. I am a very strong proponent that I don't think that, uh bosses should be able to spam abilities. I, I feel like they should always have a cooldown between ability one and, you know, casting it a second time. This isn't so bad because it's, you know, very specifically designed as a... Stop it. Like, he does it with both hands. Sort of thing. So that doesn't really bother me, but when they do it two or three times in a row, you start to run into the stamina to dodge it. Okay. I don't know where my stamina was there. I could not roll. A new six-year-old cousin is a Kirby main in Smash who keeps stag killing you. Oh, stage killing you? Yeah. The exact same way you killed his invader. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. It was it was much more funny because of the context of it. But like when he casts the the lightning bolt, it's fine. When he casts the lightning bolt six times in a row, that's a bit much. But I don't think that that should ever happen because I feel like bosses should always have like they can do ability one, then ability two, then ability fuck, then ability fuck. Um, and I mean that's just my philosophy. And it might be a skill issue thing. And if that's the case, then sure. But I think it's it's not really fair 
because you get into these weird situations where you just can't dodge stuff because you either run out of stamina or attacks hit uh, too soon to each other. There's been times where, like, an ability, uh, when chained together, it goes through your iframes, which sucks. But, eh, that's, that's just me bitching about things. This is just me, it's me complaining. Should have died there. Damn it. Uh, when we fought Rolana, there was an attack that she did where she would summon three uh, daggers above her head, and she would also had a different attack where she would summon three daggers in front of her, and then those would all shoot at you. When she did them separately, it was no big deal. You know, you could tell because they were very clearly telegraphed which was which and it was very well done. Like, I felt that was a pretty decent um, enemy attack. TK, thank you for 10 whole months. Holy shit, dude. TK God damn, my guy. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay. Stamina locked. Um... When she did each of those attacks individually, it was fine, but when she did them together, they would both hit you, and they were staggered in just such a way that the dodge window was really tight, and it didn't feel fair. It was doable, but, like, you had to be lucky. I wish I could just set the lantern to always be on. But yeah, thank you so much, TK. overpower him with staggers. Well, there's the command grab. We done fucked up, chat. We done fucked up! We done fucked up. <laughs> As soon as he grabbed me, I was like, ah, this one's fucking done. Now, I could summon as an ally and, like, see if that makes it easier, but I feel like that might invalidate the challenge. You know? It would make it a little too easy. Alright. Okay. Alright, I am going to pretend to focus on the video game now. And stop rambling, because I need to try and... I was doing it twice, I see. Sir, thank you. Ooh, got the stagger. Very good. No pride, I will summon as large an army as you can. That's fine. You are absolutely allowed to do that. I just want my controller to do the thing I tell it! Alright, 
Sorry, video game. That was weird. Fuck. 150 mil a million more on the way. 150,000. Did you just prequel me? Hold on a second. I want to see if Grom has gotten back to me again. He has not said anything new. Okay. Okay, day. All right. Back to the shit. All right, where are my rooms? Right next to him. There we go. That was the stagger I needed. Got it. Spawn a nuke and nuke the place. I don't think nukes exist in an Elden Ring. I jumped instead of rolled. This place that was completely different, so the boss fight is not going to be the same. That's pretty cool. I appreciate that. Sir, I am trying to kill you. It's very rude that you're not letting me. Get my stamina back. I need my stamina back. Don't know what the hell happened there. Fuck. <sighs> I don't want to leave. This isn't like the other boss where I just had like a spawn right next to it. If I leave, I have to redo this whole dungeon and I don't want to redo this whole fucking dungeon. redo the whole dungeon. Oh, my souls are all the way in the back. Alright, buddy. I'm gonna need you to let me grab my shit. Alright, I've grabbed my shit. I'm gonna go over here because if I die, I'd like to rather be on this side of the map. Thanks, buddy. I'm glad you uh, saw things my way. Oh, got him. Not what I meant to do, but I'll take it. Damn it. Okay, maybe I won't take it. I feel like if I had gotten the repost, it would have been better. I need to stand up. My butt hurts. Hold on. Ooh, 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 that hurt. Ow. I've been sitting for too long, chat. Oh. Hi, Zelrena. How are you? Ow. Chat, my butt hurts. Can I use your face as a seat? Jesus. Ooh, ah. <laughs> How you doing today, Zelrena? Also, did I say hi to you, competent Corey? We've been talking for like the past 15 minutes. I didn't even say hi. So many old noises. Leave me alone. You shut the fuck up. Well, if I didn't say hi, hello. I will say hi now. 
How you doing today, Tishla? Buddy, you annoy the shit out of me, you know that? Way too soon. You neither do nor does You're doing good. That is a, a, today has been a day of learning. Nice. We love days of learning. Buddy, you're annoying the shit out of me. I need you to stop, okay? We found this emote and, um, uh-oh. Did he just regen? Yeah, when he does the command grab, it'll it's a full heal. I don't know if it's a full heal, but it's enough that it gets him to full. Thank over to have pass. I feel like I feel like parrying. He sucked it out of the streamer. <gasps> I don't know, but I need that. I feel like parrying is a more consistent way to deal with this guy, but also a slower way to deal with this guy. If that makes sense. That was way early. Spamming the heal button while he's down. Jesus, where'd all my HP go? I can backstab him? I knew it! Thought it was a miss. HP did seem to go poof. Was in another room feeding the cat. How is the cat? How is the cat? How is our baby? How is our collective baby? Tishla, our, our dear Tishla here, uh, had a cat that had kittens on uh, May 4th. They were very cute. So we have literally seen these kittens since the day they were born in the community. We love them. Browning, shut the fuck up. You're amazing this game to bully this man's back yeah <laughs> first hit gets parried can you do a shout out for this coyote man over here You're breathtaking. How you doing today, bro? I hope you're having a good one. Fuck. Uh, 
Okay. Thank you for giving me a shout out. Alright, cool. We got command grab like a motherfucker. Ignore that. That was me for setting my position. I have to do that every now and then. Alright, alright. Yeah, I definitely feel like the, the parry can be more consistent if I hit it every time, but also, I don't wanna. Hi, Una. What do you mean you hate knowing so many references? But that's where all the fun is. Because then you get all the silly references we make. I was stuck in the animation. <laughs> Can't stop making references? That's okay. That's okay. How much do we need to level up? I don't even know. A lot, like double what we have. It always seems to be double what we have. This game is rigged. Yeah, this guy's got his command grab lets him heal, which is uh bad. Which is frustrating. It's not the end of the world, but you know. I feel like this pushes the phase faster. Ah, you fucking asshole. I specifically hid behind the pillar to avoid you. an hour since you joined in from friend's room. I'm glad you've stuck around. I hope you're enjoying your time here. Has it really been an hour? God damn. That was so nice of her. Everybody go follow Fenari Mori. She is a cute moth girl and she deserves your support. She deserves your support, chat. Go bully her. Don't tell her I said that part. Don't tell her I said the bully part. Or do. You know what? I'm not a cop. Do what you want. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we got it. We got it. That timing was really tight. Bully with kindness. That's fair. That's fair. I got really lucky and had a chance to meet Fen in person at Offkai. She's very nice in person, and she has very pretty eyes. I stand by that statement. It was fun to say hi. I should do another episode cut. This is going to be another one of those, like, episode 12, boss. Episode 13, boss. Episode 17, same fucking boss. Episode 29, same goddamn boss. <laughs> we'll be back.